Okay. I sat in the classroom in primary and noticing half of February had passed by, raised my hand and asked, teacher, will we be studying any black history? The teacher furrowed her brow, scoffed and replied, we don't need that. And I sat wondering, who is we? Because the folks I usually see who look like me in history books and on TV are slaves or are on cops. And I know we're more than that. Black history didn't start as slavery and criminal isn't equivalent to black. So instead of waiting on lesson plans to do justice to my heritage, I started a journey at the library with the autobiography of Malcolm X. And that was just the exigence of years of gathering evidence of my people's accomplishments. Sister's been walking in the black light ever since. Now I know some people might question why this is important anyway. Why do we need a month for black history? Honestly, we need all year, but the system's not ready to hear that. So we take our month and use it for what it could be a catapult for our rightful place in historical and literary canons, in science books enlisted among the world's most notable mathematicians. During my days as an athlete, my team sat around after a hard day to stretch. I heard a white kid say, you know black people can't read. And I heard a white coach say nothing, while his other athletes sat somewhere between vengeance and dignity. Now I know some people might question why this is important anyway. If you love yourself, why does it matter what others say? Well, everybody ain't there yet. And also, don't forget the power of public opinion because public opinion teaches folks how to treat you in the open and in private, left unchecked. I've had people tell me that I can't change hearts, I can't change minds, I can't change history, I can't change anything, just let it be. We're in a better place than we've ever been. The battle for systemic change isn't one you can win. Well, better ain't good, and just enough ain't enough. And if I fell at my plight, which I might, it won't be because I quieted down and didn't fight. Not long ago, quite recently, a young woman came to me trying to undo years of conditioning and bigotry. She had told her parents she was learning that black people aren't what they warned her we would be. With tears in her eyes, she relayed to me that they believe we're less than, can't think, can't read. So I embraced her and asked, well, what do you think? What do you see? The mission's not accomplished until I can walk in a room, look in other humans' eyes, and not have to display a social resume for everybody in there to know I'm civilized. So until educators teach our part in building history and until coaches use their strides for more than offering free rides and until students don't have to choose between teachers or parents guidance, I'll keep shouting, I'll keep letting it be known. Black is beautiful, pure, brilliant, and whole. Black is light. <laughs>